Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a video about kind of recycling but on electronics because if you are doing electronic, working with electronic things, you pretty much want to recycle your stuff because that those things are expensive. If you want to buy a diode or a transistor or something, a couple of bucks and then there's postage and there's the 14 days you have to wait or something like that. And so it's a good thing to have a little bit of things staying around on the shelves and when you're throwing something out there's always something that you might want to keep and over here I have a stack of electronic boards that uh, I really want to go through them before I throw them out because there are kind of some some good components the flashlight has nothing to do with it So yeah, there is, there is components and tr things on here that's worth using a couple of minutes on saving. So that I don't have to buy it the next time. And there's a lot of stuff that's just going to the bin. Because it's absolutely waste. Uh, this board has had some water on it. And these... Uh, yeah actually the leads have broken off of them because of some yeah i don't know what has happened to that thing but some of it is still good and on other boards there are also this board is actually pretty much the same and it has a pretty pair of pretty good uh, electrolytes capacitors right there and that would be a shame to throw those out I have a soldering iron right over here, Let's zoom out, and it's a Weller, uh, I think this is German, I'm not sure. Let's see, made in Germany, alright, I'm just gonna solder some of these components out, and we're just gonna talk a little bit, I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about why I'm saving this, and this and this. So let's take this board to start with. I would save this one, but it's really very badly corroded up here. So I'm not really sure if it's if it would be working. But I'm going to I'm going to take out the sockets where it's at. Let's let's do the one that's already mounted here. Oh, and someone turned down the soldering iron, so I'll have to turn that back up. And here's another board. This is, I'm not gonna save those light diodes. They they cost absolutely nothing. And yeah, the reason this is hasn't been thrown out yet is because of it has some sentimental reasons. This was a board that I did to control the output of of a Commodore 64 back in the time. So. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this out. Out. Capacitor in. Two of those. Make a little stash of good things over here. Then there is. This is an SMD thing that I made way back. And that should be for measuring 12 volts. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check that before I throw it out. But now the soldering iron is good. It's not the person to me. Uh, this. Uh, oh, this one is actually pretty good. It's more this thing that I want. Want to keep, but it's going in the. Over there, where I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna look. When I made this board, I put in some ICs. And they're in sockets, which means they're really easy to take out of there. I have a little screwdriver here, I'm just gonna take out the ICs.
very very easy it was maybe a bit too much saying but they're out uh, yeah I don't know the rest of this is really cheap I don't think I'm gonna waste time on that one more board out and I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing to this one no reason to film that and this was a this was a project from school that I did once uh, I'm an electronic technician so while under my education we did this and there's a it's an analog filter and yeah this is a high pass filter and this is a low pass filter and you put in the signal and it's filtered so I'm gonna take I'm not gonna need this anymore I'm gonna take some of the components out of it. A lot of it is, is corroded. I think these are operational amplifiers. Pretty sure of it. So they're going. Go there. I have a component here that is oh, what is that called it's, it's a spool I'm just gonna get that out of there a small spool that is used in, in filtering that's about the component that is really worth saving on this board yeah not gonna not gonna waste time on the rest of it just gonna I'm just saving the expensive bits oh yeah this is the project with the Commodore 64 you plug this into the communication port and you could um, turn on and off the diodes and over here I had switches so I could turn a switch and that could go in through the computer and do something with the diodes. I am never gonna need this again. I don't know if I should save it for sentimental reasons. I did, I did this in the 8th grade. Which <laughs> you can really see that. The, I did some heating of shrink plastic. And I did that with a soldering iron. It took forever. I'm gonna throw it out. Here we have another board. It's something with a couple of transistors on it or something. And there's a little variable resistor right there. I'm gonna save those two and this one and that one. I can't remember what this was. Probably not important then. Get some fresh solder, solder on there. And just heat the legs of this one as fast as possible. These are pretty expensive. A couple of bucks, I guess, maybe three bucks. And the rest of this is not really something you need to solder. Just gonna take this, probably another operation amplifier. And another board that is waste. Here we have another board and I think the reason I've saved this is because of this dip switch. Uh, some time back I had to buy this dip switch 
and I remember they were very expensive so, I, so I'm gonna take that out here we have another project uh, and, oh, I can't remember what this was but I think we did this in school it was something to do with digital electronics I'm taking this out the hard way. And there it is. These can be quite expensive. So that is going in the, in the stash of good things. There were some other good things on this board. I'm pretty sure that these over here are relays. Um, but on the bottom, they look really nasty over there. It's like rusted and everything. I'm not gonna bother with those. Let's see if there's anything else that we want. Uh, not really. There is some chips on here, but they're they're kind of hard to get out and if I don't I don't know if I ever need a chip like that so and if I for some reasons was gonna need a chip like that I would probably not start by looking in the pile of chips well oh here's a good one we have all kinds of good stuff on this one let's I'm gonna do that later here I have a little board uh, it's not really it's it's only these small light sockets that I really want to save because they're pretty hard to find these days you can screw down a little light bulb not that we use those much anymore we usually use LEDs nowadays but they're, they're nice to have around here is another little board, can't remember. I don't think I need to save that. I was probably saving it because of the switch, but... Well, that switch is not gonna be good anymore. Here we have another board and... I've already taken out comp components from that one. I can't remember what this is, but... Probably... Uh, 74, 86, that's some digital and or gate something. I'm not, I'm not gonna waste time on that. I'm gonna do a bit up on this one and I'm gonna take some of this out. And I'll be done with this stack of components that have been laying around here for way too long. I'll keep working for a little bit to save myself a little bit of money the next time I have to build something. And what what I do is I have all these cupboards with room for electronic stuff and uh, I have a little of everything, uh, nothing. Sometimes I get, get a bulk of something, you know, big companies, they very often buy way too many of some components and they throw something out and when I buy something in China well sometimes it's just as cheap getting five as it is getting one so I get five and I save them in my little cupboards thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and um, give me a thumbs up I enjoy that Have a nice day.